Hello and welcome Rocket League fans. We are here and we are live. Little NECC action coming at you. I'm FBI Tugboat. I'm here with the man Gogan. Gogan, how are we doing? I'm how doing fantastic. Uh, I have to apologize. I straight up lied to everybody. I said I'd be adding a bear and a light together. Uh, lo and behold, mm. it is a tugboat and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. But I am very happy nonetheless to be sharing <laughs> the booth with you. We've got the third of five matches of the night lined up here, and it's sure to be another banger again in Great Plains A for the Champions Division. Absolutely. Absolutely. Champions, Great Plains, like you were saying, a 3-2 barn burner is what you guys just got to witness. Let's take a look here at what we have next up on the docket. This is Northwestern College taking on the Oklahoma Christian University. This is the Bravo squad, multiple squads coming on in from the Oklahoma Christian University. Gogan. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got later on at 9 p.m. Florida Tech Crimson taking on Stevenson Varsity A. And then I believe we have a new match subbed in for the 10 p.m. UCSC Gold versus ASU Gold. So the Gold Derby, as it were. But we're focused up right here again. As I said, Great Plains A, Champions Division, Northwestern College, Oklahoma Christian, Bravo. It's sure to be fantastic, Doug Boat. <laughs> Hey, uh, you might be focused up. My attention is only on the spooky background that you got right, right. there. You know, cause me, cause me a little fright, even if it is spooky season, y'all. Let's go ahead and take a look. Some of these rosters, some of the players that will be taking the pitch here on the day. I've we'll been a little bit as far as how these teams got here. You know what? Let's talk about that right now, actually. Mm -hmm. How these teams got here, right? It's just week two, obviously. Uh, a regular season, decently long. Single loss, single win, whatever. Uh, doesn't really matter for the full season performance. Now, both of these teams, though, Northwestern College coming off of an unfortunate sweep last week. That was against another Oklahoma squad, though, right? That was the Oklahoma City University and swept them right there. So they'll be looking to get a little bit of revenge against another Oklahoma squad here. Yeah, and you can use that as, as sort of a witness as well. Northwestern College, you know, we just saw Oklahoma City play. They were very strong when they were on the ball and had a couple of weak moments, but never really let the game slip too far away from them against Oklahoma Academy. Meanwhile, on the other side, the WSB Wildcats were victorious over Oklahoma Christian Bravo the mm -hmm. first time around. But as you say, both teams 0-1 looking for their first win of the season. Somebody's got to grab it here. Absolutely. One of these teams will go away with it. Why? Because you can't have ties in the great game of Rocket. You can't have 13-minute overtimes like we've learned, like mm -hmm. we've learned before. But... You cannot have a tie. There will be a winner. There will be a loser. That was, uh, and the, and if we're really like delving into differences here, uh, a main difference, of course, is that the Oklahoma Christian University squad, the Bravo squad here, did take that loss in three-one fashion versus a full three-zero sweep on the other side. So maybe a little bit more to fight for here for Northwestern University, right. Northwestern College. Excuse me. Let's see. Let's see then uh, who exactly will be fighting if we check out these rosters. Northwestern College, the varsity roster first to take. And we've got a player that'll be a little bit of a mystery, but Brady and Unquist <laughs> as well. Unquist, of course, without the L of said famous ice hockey goaltender, hopefully not holding any L's in this particular series for the team. I <laughs> love it. Love it. Let's take a look over here. The Oklahoma Christian University Eagles. The Eagles are going to be looking to fly high on this one. That is Brayworth. That is Butter 26, and that is Wyloft looking to take the pitch here in just a second. Once again, there will be a third member of the Northwestern College Raider Nation squad joining us as well. Would not be a two on three. That would not be particularly fair here, Gogan. I don't think so either, but it'll be interesting to see who it is out of this roster of seven registered players, I believe. Yes, I see Brady, yes. Kixby, Big Z, Fizz. Car there are so many, Carly or Mike Rogue at the same time. What I'm interested to see, though, however, this this Braywood that we have here at Oklahoma Christian Esports Bravo, I'm assuming it's the same Braywood, uh, the community figure that we know from the Rocket League scene. They have had a hand mm -hmm. in managing just about every team that you can think of in the bubble. <laughs> I can't really think of one that they haven't gotten to, but it'll be interesting to see them as particular series best of five and like we said somebody's got to get their first win it's gonna come here somebody's got to bray has got their work cut out for them because they're fun fact here gogan they like gaming who'd have guessed it who'd have guessed it 15 seconds into this one a demo coming into a really aggressive shot right there unquist gonna get the block right now but the offense still continuing 
the Oklahoma Christian University squad. I was going to say, if you like gaming, I mean, well, you got to like it in order to be playing Rocket League on a Friday night as a college student. But hey, all sure. six of these players, their minds are on the game right here, right now. I'm excited to see what comes of this, though, because again, we just saw a divisional play from this exact spot. And it's Unquist to start us off. Solid play, just patience pays off of the midfield line. Easy first touch and buries the second. Yeah, gonna be in our first goal here. Not for lack of trying, Oklahoma Christian is really trying to get this one going, but Northwestern Raider Nation gonna be striking first here. A 30 seconds in, Unquist gonna be winning this 50, trying to get up to it, but Braywood, they got a different ID here right now. Centered down, but nobody there from Oklahoma Christian able to get a real handle on him. Oh, and that mystery player, you can see just a dot in the name. We can assume that's Kixby of Northwestern. Trying to make an impact here and make it a quick two within the first minute. But now, all back in their face, Willoff finds the tying goal. We're moving very quickly. You can see this sometimes with the first game of the series. Teams going back and forth, being a bit lax with the defense, but not for a lack of trying. Oklahoma Christian, they find their way through. A yeah, nice tie game right here. 1-1-0-0-10-10. One, one, zero, zero, ten, ten. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Two scores already in the first 60 seconds right here. Oklahoma Christian striking back as of right now. I believe that's Brady Dot. Brady Dot, Dot on the, uh, nope, never mind, Brady Dot, and you're right, that is Kixby with just a single period right there. It's a minimalistic style, it's a minimalistic look right here. You cannot uh, uh, try and draw aspersions on their aesthetic choosing. Right? Yeah, it's all about, you know, the heavy car placebo, where it's like you can't have your car too heavy or else you're not going to perform. The heavy nameplate placebo, you don't yes. want to have too many characters up there, it's going to start weighing you down, because obviously it sits above you for the entire game here. Oh, yeah. but Sitting at the top of the box, Northwestern can't get much done. Let's see how long we go without another goal. It feels like these teams are chomping at the bit to get the offense reeling again, but it's all oh. against them, picked off by Butter. Oklahoma Christian grab their first lead of the season. Yeah, this is put directly into the bread basket of Butter. Just Lundquist trying to get that one over. Not sure if they didn't see them on the other side. Circular clips of the ball maybe blocking vision they're not 100 percent sure what i do know is a christian universe the oklahoma christian like you said taking the first lead of this best of five series thus far almost a rule one right there's braywood now gonna be beating it down the side and wins the second one on the other tries to get a tipper on that one wyloff is met with a 50 and loses it it's butter to try and challenge once again two cars up into the air neither find the ball and butter will get a second touch for free won't have to pay much for that Allowance unspent, time ticking down, Oklahoma Christian try to bring this push a bit more into their control. You could see the vision trying to get the pass to the back wall, have an attacker just lurking there in the distance. Oklahoma Christian, though, they're back against the back wall again. Rotation from Kixby sends this one up high and away, follow through from Unquist not to be connected. Brady had plenty of time to get back into the sequence. Kixby now sends it high, second touch is in, and a beautiful oh. double makes big work in the defense. Crazy stuff right here in WC with the assist from Brady. Same stuff. Same stuff. Little bouncer right there. Wyloff gets nothing more than a front row seat to that tying factor. Exactly at halftime right now, just like we planned it going. Exactly. We're following the script to it, see? I wish we could leak the rest of it to you, but you gotta pay for that. <laughs> Obviously, you don't have to pay anything. You can watch all of this glorious entertainment for free, and we hope that it keeps up. I, I love this pace. I love the fact that we got a Game 5 last series. I, I would like to imagine that everybody in Great Plays Day will keep that up, but oh dear, it's a touch you can't let slip by. Northwestern jump back out in front. Nicely done right there, Unquist right here, the political science sophomore, open net all day long. No tough moral decision about that one. Two minutes, ten seconds in, Northwestern takes the lead back. It's fun, I make the analogy, of course, before the series starts, to Henrik Lundqvist, goalie for most prolifically the New York Rangers, but not really doing a whole lot defensively here. That's that's not a knock on Unquist's performance, has been the offensive powerhouse for this Northwestern side, and fair to do. You know, if Oklahoma Christian going to provide those opportunities, you got to take them, strike while the iron is hot. And it's certainly blazing here in game number one, but it has been a bit of goal trading back and forth. You think Oklahoma Christian has it within themselves to bring this back to three all with 100 seconds to play, but Northwestern certainly looks strong, oh. and it kicks me right off the top corner. Nothing found. Nicely done. A solid effort right there. Just doesn't get rewarded on the other side with points on the board. 
Call it opportunities like that. You put these up, eventually someone's gonna go in! Shot right there, and Brady finds it, threads the needle on the left side. Caught halfway down perfectly inside, no sidebar for you. And Unquist securing that exit demo just sort of lets that play linger in time, not necessarily freezing it, but just slowing everybody down, allowing that ball to end up exactly where it needs to be. And you're right on it. When you place the ball where it needs to go, somebody's going to find that shooting avenue. It's Brady this time around. Northwestern with a comfortable enough lead right here. And you can start to see it in their play. They're exuding that confidence in the mechanics that they use just to clear the ball aside and get it centered once again. No shot through, but Oklahoma Christian no closer to finding their third as Butter tries to get it going. And Butter, if they, if they got gifted another one like earlier, got that a little bit faster, it would have been uh, not quite the tying factor, but a solid well, it stands in that way. Lead of we, lead of one. There's no real lead and lead in the game of Rocket League. And Butter just got to wait for it a little bit. A low, slow roller right now. And we bring it back to one for Oklahoma Christian. 4-3, 43 to play. Seems like the stars may be aligning. You say that one goal lead feels like no goal lead. And I have to feel like in this series, it's much more true than any other. So Oklahoma yeah. Christian, certainly still relevant. What do they do from here, though? This kickoff is crucial. Butter's still relevant. Unquist can't do much to rob. And this could turn nasty here if Oklahoma Christian can find it. But a big clear from Brady. I see done right there. Brady just sends us all the way to the other side. You have to put more postage on that one next time he wants to get all the way. An area goes right there. Unquist now in this one off the corner. No, Wildlock nicely done. Up back to the middle. Nobody really in the in the uh, in the position for it as the demos do continue. Wildlock butter both finding a couple right here, but we'll have our response. We'll have our response in now. Four seconds, one last chance for Northwestern to tack on another one. Add insult to injury here. Has to come from the back of the zone for Oklahoma, Christian. They've certainly got a chance, but that is a tall task for a ball to get to. It's sent right back to Willoff, however, and Kixby keeps it alive. Willoff has one last oh! save. It's right to Braywood's hands. No! Oh, no! It's three quarters of the way in, wow. but that's not enough. Game one to Northwestern. Well, you're obviously an optimist because I'm going to say it's one quarter of the way out here. Go again. Wow. What a game one right there. Uh, again, we just got a 3-2 barn burner there on the first match of the day. Looks like we're on par for another one of those right here. And, and what? Talk to me about lead changes too. My goodness. Just back and forth, back and forth. Just like uh, tennis or pickleball. You know, if you want to you keep it modern, right? Thematical. Yep. yep. With it. I, I, it's, it's out of my league, honestly. There's, there's so many, there's such an older crowd taking to pickleball as well. And this they're probably true. all better than me anyway. But the, the point still stands. You're right on it. I feel like in the book of game one outcomes that we can have, that lead change mentality where both teams are figuring things out as they go, making adjustments on the fly. Obviously, they've still got the rest of this best of five to do even more guesswork and, tr and try and get that leg up on the competition. But it, it almost mm. begs the question where do you go from here? because Northwestern looked very confident in their chances in Oklahoma Christian. It, it kind of came with, you know, you score one goal, then you gain a little bit of bout of confidence, and it diminishes very quickly as you get scored on. I know that's a very simplistic way of describing it, but you almost want Oklahoma Christian to carve their own path here, get out to that two-goal lead early on, and see where that takes them, see what differences we get in the play styles, especially from Northwestern when they have a deficit against them. With this, what we know just happened. Northwestern College finds their first regular season game win. This match not over with yet, but their game win first on the first on the season. Butter gonna be sitting during this one up pretty easily, but Brady, that's a that's a methodical stop and clear for scene one. 20 seconds in. What, uh, first score is about 35 seconds in game one, if I remember right? I think so. We certainly had an early start to the first game, and I think you expected to slow down a little bit, but again, that's not really what Oklahoma Christian need to be doing here. They, they kind of have to be the ones to force the issue. Northwestern really took advantage of the slower moments of play, that calm down, fall closer to the ground, and trying to go for those scrappy challenges that you see Butter doing right now, but if Northwestern can continue to pick that off, find a quick counterattack of their own, it could spell disaster here. Oklahoma Christian, though, I'm liking what I'm seeing from them early on. Passing plays in tow, but the shot just won. You, know, you, you asked 
question, like, where does this game go? I think that's kind of what we saw in the first minute or so, maybe in the last 15 seconds, but uh, just a little bit of slower play. Like, more continued, sustained offensive opportunities for whoever happens to have possession at the time. I mean, this ball has lived over here for Oakland Christian for about 30 seconds. It steps out for just a second until... What's that? The chance. Oh, it's a chance and it's a score! Kick speed. And gotcha, Kixby actually on their name now. Excuse me, that's what was throwing me off. Yeah, no worries at all, Kixby. Making the name known. Heavy nameplate bug or placebo, what have you. <laughs> Not going to affect Kixby here. The assist over to Unquist Northwestern. Continue their scoring form. Absolutely. 90 seconds or so into this one, Northwestern going to take the lead. A lead that we know is not safe. Not safe whatsoever. This went back and forth at least four times, I believe. First game, Unquist, or methodical stop right there. Low, slow roller. Not going to get it past them very frequently with that uh, lack of, you know, fanciness, right? No passes, just a single shot on the bottom. Possession goes the other way. So Oklahoma Christian takes us to the midpoint, puts this one up, trying to get to his big speed. He can't quite get a handle on it. You can see the gameplay adaptation here for Northwestern, though they've got the lead attackers, sure, but you're right on it. The pressure doesn't stop just there. They send their second player just as quickly to send a quick one on. A big denial from Kixby, not where they wanted to be, but falling from the ceiling, nothing else could really be done about it. But you can see just how starved for resources Oklahoma Christian are on the back line. Nobody's boost is above 20, nobody above 10 yeah. now, <laughs> as they are just scrambling to get this ball clear to the midfield line they go and will offer a whole lot of work with the help from their friend in Kixby. Somehow, they find their way out, but they still need to pick up the pads. Yeah, the big boost on the corners and the sides right here just being absolutely dominated from Northwestern and anemic often says the result from Oklahoma Christian. Northwestern easily takes this one back. That's a couple of attempts right now. Huge clear here for Oklahoma. 2.15 to play. Need to get a goal right now. That was the chance. Unquist got a hand on it. Made the save happen. Brady with a beautiful connection that's on target. And slow enough for Braywood to save, but it still makes Oklahoma Christian back up just a bit. But Braywood, not concerned, takes it right on back. High flying action right now. Stark contrast to how we started the game. Maybe that's where Oklahoma Christian won it, but with their lead attacker demoed and nobody else able to answer the call, Northwestern comes screaming right back. One, two, three. Crossbar save. Yeah, nicely done. I have to cut a check for that crossbar later. 1 0, we still go. Tie game possibly coming in here. Oklahoma Christian starting another offense. Brady almost slices this one right over the top. It would have had an absolute T ball type situation. Huge shot kicks me with a punch against this one. The clear coming in now with the wild. Side and orange starting to play a bit more cagey. You want them to break out, try and bring down the locks that bind them, but they can't do so just yet. Northwestern standing tall, getting a hand on every single ball that comes their way. Not often that Oklahoma Christian have been allowed to set up passing plays closing in. On 60 seconds, they look for just that as Braywood out of the corner, trying to get that ball center. It's a double commit to be sure from Northwestern, but a calculated one at that as they now clamor all the way down the other Ooh. side. High pop, Willoff, good jump to block it away. Yeah, like a, a defense in motion right there, right? Generally, you see players positioned up on the other side. Unquist loses the ball, takes the demo. We'll see an Oklahoma Christian squad now full force with a little bit of boost to speak of as well. But are trying to get this over and does. Back to the middle, not quite ready for it. There was Brady, uh, Braywood. Butter now to try and collect, leaves that one go. Less than 30 to play. And again, you see Oklahoma Christian struggling to get back defensively. They do scramble to save, but Brady's back in the corner looking for more center pass. It goes wayward. Braywood now up in the nice. skies with the Dominus trying to control. Loses it at the last moment, however. Still bought a good amount of time for Willoff to come into the picture. 10 seconds to play. Butter out of rotation. That one back towards Braywood. Gets a clear end off the corner with pace, but it's right back into the hands of Northwestern headed to the sidewall. Zero second shenanigans again for Oklahoma Christian. Anything different this time uh, around? No, it's not. Northwestern, very different scoreline, but the result has not changed. Yeah, still fast, still high flying, still members willing to do all kinds of really aggressive plays right here. Uh, cannot call a 4 3 game uh, similar to a 1 0 game, except for the score differential right there. Seven total in game number one, one total in game number two. Both of these games coming all the way down to overtime as close as you get without actually, without actually get there, getting there. Crazy stuff.
Yeah, I think the problem here, though, for Oklahoma Christian, like we'd be singing a much different song about game number two if there were plenty of scoring chances and Northwestern's defense was just better. I think Northwestern's defense was just better, but in the proactive sense where they stopped the goal scoring chances before they formulated. Far too often, you saw an Oklahoma Christian player trying to set up a passing play, but like I said, it really wasn't often enough that two orange cars found touches in succession. Everybody from Northwestern was getting a hand up early and often on the play that is the key difference for any team that plays this game disrupt the momentum of your opponents don't let them set up shop it's not working for oklahoma christian they've got to carve their own path a hundred percent, hundred percent. I think that as the pace of this game kind of increased, Oklahoma Christian was kind of just well, on the offense, either going for solo shots and not as much as you mentioned, setting up these passing plays. Match point right now for Oklahoma Christian, as Northwestern has certainly so far gotten their revenge against the state of Oklahoma. We'll see if Northwestern can close it out in a clean sweep, get themselves to. Three and three in terms of game differential. Oh, oh I, my. <laughs> I echo okay. that sentiment right there. That's one way to open up. Absolutely love it. Absolutely. Love it. Crazy stuff right there. Crazy stuff. That is Braywood all day long. Like game and how you like those shots. 14 seconds into this one. Oklahoma Christian going to take an early lead. An lead they can be undone as we have seen. But hey, we just came off of a one goal close game first. Ooh, they're looking not for satisfied two. one. Yeah. Yep. Turning around here, Oklahoma Christian. Again, it's not the first lead they've had this series either as they traded back and forth in game number one. But it's certainly a momentum builder if there ever was one. And there's nice. the second. Demo on that far post. Butter has an easy cleanup job. Everyone knows it's Butter. South Park got right there, folks. Nice little bouncing play down low and slow as Northwestern just, I mean, a, a barrage of shots. It's hard to always be rotating in position, block those ones away. Uh, maybe looking like a little struggle back here from our Oklahoma Christian squad. It's the Eagles here. I was going to say, I, I really want it to be purposeful to the Butters goal explosion is the popcorn. I, I think that is a perfect <laughs> fit. I'm very pleased that we found that out. And yeah, it is, it is smooth like butter right now. Smooth sailing for Oklahoma Christian. They try to continue this run of momentum. It's a scary word to deal with in Rocket League, but hey, if anybody's got it, it's this Oklahoma Christian side. Yes, it is. It seems like they have listened to their commentators. The problem last game was passes into points, right? Not just solo shots. Well, every one of these Oklahoma Christian squad shots has been pass assisted all the way up and come off the back of, again, sustained offensive pressure. One minute in as well. I was going to say one minute in as well. We might be seeing the fourth come up. It's all about trying to sneak in to the back line here as the second attacker like a criminal undercover. Sorry, that was insane stretch for a joke made a literal minute ago. But at the same time, Northwestern, you know, I mean, it's a hill to climb. It certainly is. You have to wonder what the first step is. We've seen it from them before, but every single touch shot taken. Oh my goodness, oh my what a save. You hold your breath for moments like that. Surely could have been a fourth. And that's the counter that Northwestern want to capitalize on, but they can't see it through. But you will not make it through the Northwestern Passage right there. It's frozen out. Brick wall impersonation right here. And darn good one at that for Northwestern. We're talking about offensive pressure, the results, and continued just machine gun fire shots. Well, Northwestern showed they can definitely stand that. Got skills to pay the bills here, Gogan. Same time, Oklahoma Christian, they're doing a great job. Obviously, they brought the answer offensively to find those passing plays, but they've gotten a touch on every defensive save they need to made, make thus far nearly halfway through, preserving the clean sheet, going for four. It goes far side and back again, really sending the defense all out of sorts here for Northwestern. They have to jump so early to block this ball away. Now a chance for Unquist to steam down the sidewall line, but Brady's demo kick speed, the lone source of help here. Brady spawns back though. Unquist, oh, tries to connect with the redirect. Kicks me for another shot. Sends it high. Big Ooh. save from Braywood. Uh, that's the Eagles now doing a brick wall impersonation. Fantastic job sustaining, again, that offensive pressure right here. Back down to the middle. Nobody's there, so I believe that was the result of a demo there for Northwest. They realized this offense as it was coming in and just made the numbers a little bit better for themselves. 
Two minutes to play, just inside. Northwestern struggling to find their offensive identity. Something that I didn't really feel like I'd be saying in this series, but hey, game three can change any team. Brady, though, there gonna go. change the score here. No clean sheet for Oklahoma Christian. Beautiful off-angle shot. They got two shots, one goal here for Brady, and this is, uh, th this is the difference Oklahoma Christian, right? Oklahoma Christian setting up just what, passes and just shots and shots over and over and over again. Northwestern, they get it done with one from the left side corner. Well, it just goes to show you can't let it slip for even a moment. Saw in the opening of the previous series how it was just so easy to score those opening four. Well off setting a pick there deep in the zone to block Brady from getting into the sequence. And it somewhat worked as this ball stays locked in the corner. But Northwestern looked to resume possession. Will off with a quick challenge here. Braywood early jump. Betraying the username, by the way, back to the Octane, taking this as seriously as you ever could. And hey, it's working for the time being. But Northwestern, they look hungry to change things up. They do. Brady pays for that 50 with their lives as Butter just easily picks this one up. Hit off the wall right now as Oklahoma Christian tries to... Oh, no. That was actually two Oklahoma Christian players hitting into each other. An offensive possession now granted. Mana from the skies here for Northwestern until they just go for demos and don't pay attention to ball. Okay. An interesting strategy. One of the strategies of all time, I one think. Of the of all time. <laughs> it's certainly... I mean... Demolitions, we love to see them, but sometimes when you overextend for them, you spend too many resources, you can't have the push. I've seen plenty of double demos backfire against the team that caused them, so it's certainly a calculated measure that you have to make. But speaking of calculations, oh add another on the tally to Northwestern. They're not going out without a fight. No, they are not. Two minutes ago, Gogan, I think we I was not counting this squad out by any means, but a 3 0 deficit with like eh, 90 seconds or so this is tough to do northwestern a herculean effort and a tough task ahead of them and they have brought this back to one is this open nope that's quartered and at the brutal uh. and still nope wylock hits this with such power this actually gets a second hit in there yeah in a moment like this your brain just kind of goes back and forth goal no goal goal no goal i yeah, yeah again it's a rough shake for Northwestern off the kickoff. They had every right to try and come back into this game. And hey, 20 seconds to score two goals. It's not impossible, but it's not anything like what we've been suggested in this game thus far. Braywood stays relevant. Unquist, hey, that's a good push. You've beaten two already, but unfortunately, it's right into the hands of Willoff on the back while the demo isn't really going to slow anything down. In fact, it's only going to hurt Northwestern's chances as kid speed gets yeah. removed. Now, that's it. Game is over. Oklahoma, Christian, they win one back and keep themselves kicking in the series. Yeah, it might be a 4-3, might be a 5-2, doesn't matter. Going to be a 4-2 on this one. And like you said, on match point, the Oklahoma Christian Bravo squad, these Eagles flying high right now, Gogan, as they have now managed to get at least one back right here. Will this be the beginning of a reverse sweep? Will this be Northwestern taking it in four games? They gotta gotta continue to watch to find out, folks. Yeah, you you start to ask that question, and I think it's reasonable because you have such a solid performance here from Oklahoma Christian. But again, to play devil's advocate here, if you break that game up into two halves, it's the 3-0 quick start for Oklahoma Christian, and then from there, you know, the second half of the game goes 2-1 towards Northwestern. Yes, you have 4-2 at the end. Yes, you know, maybe the end of the game, as soon as that fourth goal is scored, people don't take those final 20 seconds as seriously but I think you're thinking way too deep into it at that point in time. If Northwestern close things up confidently on defense at the start of game number four, this series could very well end just as quickly. So I think Oklahoma Christians still have their work cut out for them, but I do really like how they started game three. That's exactly what they need to do. Exactly what I told them that they needed to do <laughs> start off with those two goals really set northwestern on the back foot and see them scramble look at them and understand that that's how you can force them to be awkward in situations where otherwise they would be sure of themselves yeah the, the conversation always goes to like how does a team play both when they're ahead early and when they're behind early northwestern shows that they have they have that gumption right they have that fight back that stick to itiveness going to be required for longer range series like this one. Oklahoma now one game away from a tying factor. That's going to that's going to be butter. Actually just kind of giving this one up. Had plenty of boost to try and get in there. But that was just a bouncing play. No scores, no harm, no foul here. Oh, Ooh. speaking of harm and foul, that's an own goal all day long. 
Yeah, we're 24 seconds in, and I feel like you could simultaneously over and under analyze that entire sequence. It obviously started with the initial touch from Unquest towards the bar, and you know, whether or not you just assume that that ball's going in, fair play. I guess at this level, you expect the shot to be accurate enough. I don't think you can read super deep into that. However, Northwestern will be happy to find the first goal, but I think they just take advantage of Oklahoma Christian being a bit too confused at the start of that sequence and never really picking up the pieces afterwards. It was uh, Oklahoma Christian that took advantage of an early goal, like you said, like right off a of kickoff here in game number three to put that one up to 4-2 to kind of secure that one away, not have that one goal differential. It's Northwestern here and early with a little bit of pressure now. We butter, I believe, all the way back. A weird clear, but that's going to get past Unquist, and if it works, you can't really knock it too much. I thought that was going to be it. Brady actually coming up for this one across the middle of this field. Now, North uh, Oklahoma is doing a great job just getting these passes past the members of Northwestern. My goodness, perfect positioning there from Wylock. Love that play. Staying relevant there. Quick turn out of the corner after making that. Could have very well rotated out and left that to butter at the top of the box. But Willoff knew that they were close enough to take that shot and a solid, solid response here. Again, I mean, as we consider things, the largest lead of this series was that 3-0 that Oklahoma Christian got up to. Northwestern have only ever led by two at their most. So it really begs the question of Northwestern, what kind of steps are you going to take to really secure this game? Or are you happy with playing it as close as this right down to the wire? Because Oklahoma Christian have had plenty of zero second chances and they don't look keen to leave it to zero seconds any longer. Yes, sir. Braden, Dominus right there, uh, taking, getting physical with it, right? It's not always huge, you know, flat sheet demos necessary. Just a little bit of a bump that almost finds pay dirt. Now up to it, nicely done. Wylop realizes this threat, evaluates immediately, and gets up, breaks up that play as is being formed. Braywood takes to the skies. Solid chance for a double. Brady picks it off. Unquist goes far side. A lot of control here for Northwestern, and you can see the pass come to fruition. But that crossbar, the ring herb around the world, as it just echoes right off. Oklahoma Christian get a chance at a clear. Kixby overshoots the ball. Willoff sets a quick one on. Unquist gets a save, but it's Ooh. all for not as Willoff again relevant at that bottom corner. Clutch factor Wylock right there just hit the NOS or something. That's both of these game of four goals go in the way of Oklahoma Christian, both slotted in perfectly in bottom left by Wyloff. Not without help, but still the finishing factor right there, the done the, the last blow, the final blow right there. Wyloff both plays so far. Braywood taking up to the skies about halfway through game number four. Oklahoma Christian in the driver's seat for the time being, trying to force game five, potential reverse sweep, all of those pressure building circumstances. Speaking of pressure, a hard shot taken on save away. Kixby credited double out of the corner from Butter. Taken aside, but Kixby will pick it off. That's a tough touch to make, but a good demo to reconciliate there for Northwestern. Try and get a clear going, but it's kept relevant again. It's Oklahoma Christian really putting the clamps down. Kixby breaks through the mold, however, but can't control the shot coming through. Now it's under rotation there for Kixby. Unquist down low. So close, Brady. Now going to be finding the finishing factor there, and we got another tie ball game. On our hands, go again. One Unquist just a little bit, little bit angled inside, not been enough, but teammates, that's where you got it. Yeah, there's plenty of goals too that have fallen in this game that are just products of touches off the post. They go far side, the defense buys into it heavy, and they lose out big. 2-2, two -two. outside of two minutes left in regulation, or rather inside is Brady now trying to set this one up. Not a whole lot of boost to get that shot, but just kind of wants to threaten it. Make Oklahoma Christian back up on defense, second guess themselves. They haven't done a whole lot of it here, but they've left a little bit of a gap for Kixby to find past all three. Doesn't really connect. Brady to the back wall. Braywood oh. keeps it up. That's a dangerous touch to make, and you know it. He was holding it there for the teammate. That, that, that's all that matters. That's all that matters, right? It's making every... Oh, man, Unquist, yeah, just a, a beautiful cutoff right there. And also, when you have five shots, it just makes sense. Unquist is going to find one eventually. No, that's the thing. Again, these touches, you mentioned holding it there for the teammate. It's a, it's a decent shout, but you've got to have someone with momentum, and that's such a tough spot to really hit the ball with power. They're lurking at the top of the box. It gives the offensive player that advantage in the situation. Northwood, or Northwestern, sorry. What the 
slip of the north plus W combination. It was bound to happen eventually, but hey, they're playing with the efficiency of a north board roster. Northwestern, 4-2. My goodness, Brady now at the hat trick. Somebody heard on top. Wyloft is trying to get back a little bit sooner. Northwestern now finds that two goal differential they've only seen one other time here in this series so far. Deed is theirs. They put up another one right here. It might be the nail in the coffin they need to get on the Christian done in this series. Collection here off of the sidewall. Good pinch as well. Untwist has to back up. No shot through. However, that was the chance for Butter to try and get one back. Backed up to the back of their own zone. Now going through the same sidewall, but Brady picks it clean off the backboard. Unquist, one of the shot, unable to see it through. But again, back and forth, Northwestern finding a hand on every single touch that Oklahoma Christian make clear. Comes out, but nobody in a solid enough position here. Less than 30 to play, and Northwestern have answers for every single question that Oklahoma Christian pose. Well, they do so far. 15 seconds to go right here. Oklahoma Christian has got it. Basically has to score right now. Next five seconds or so, and then line this one back on up for their serious hopes and prayers. Five seconds to go. Every time the Northwestern hits this against the ceiling, that is a couple seconds burned off this clock. This series is over. Northwestern going to be able to take it in four. Feels justified for Northwestern to win this series. Not that Oklahoma Christian had too bad of a performance here in this series, but Northwestern, you could tell the confidence, the levels that they were playing with offensively and defensively. I, I really love from Oklahoma Christian when they were able to generate those scrappy plays from the corner, because oftentimes you see these teams start to take the advantage when they get clear passing lanes out in the center of the field. Oklahoma Christian realized that that was going to be a bit too difficult. They took to the corners, Willoft especially stayed as relevant as he possibly could on those goals and found a couple of quick shots against the defense and whatever gaps that they provided from Northwestern, but it wasn't enough at the end of the day. Like I said, too many questions asked by Oklahoma Christian and too many answers provided by Northwestern to see Oklahoma Christian win that series. Solid performance from Northwestern, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a classic, like, di which team evolved better throughout this series? Which team was more, like, both reactive and proactive, knowing what they want to do and also how they're going to shut down opposite team? If, if we're looking for bare differences here, because this was, I mean, what? Oh, yeah, all of these games, or first two games, score difference of one, last two games, score difference of two. Still relatively close and no blowouts, really. Uh, I, I mean, 1-0, so they get shut out, only one scored advantage there for Northwestern in game number two. It, 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 again, if we're pulling at bare differences here, I would say I would say that would be, that would be the main one. The Northwestern just simply evolved a little bit better around uh, the, the pace of play, how this series went as it got into games three and four. Well, the best news is we've had a couple of lengthy series here, not all of them reaching game five, but here's the hoping that the next two out of our grand total of five do just that. The fourth of five series is coming up after this short break. We head to the Mideast region of champions, a night of champions tonight here on the NECC stream. Florida Tech Crimson tries to go two and oh against Stevenson University Varsity, who looked to bounce back off their week one loss to Kennesaw Varsity. Varsity, that matchup, and more to come after this short break. Oh, good stuff. What? Right these bathroom. Sounds good. Uh, is Bear Light just not coming at all? 